What is haptoglobin and why do we check haptoglobin levels? Question. What is the significance of haptoglobin, and why are haptoglobin levels monitored in clinical practice? Answer. Haptoglobin is a liver-produced protein that circulates in the blood, binding free hemoglobin released after red blood cell breakdown. Checking haptoglobin levels helps diagnose and monitor intravascular hemolytic anemia, as low levels often indicate this condition. Interpretation should be made in the patient's overall clinical context since other factors such as liver disease or inflammation can affect haptoglobin levels. Facts associated with haptoglobin 1. Haptoglobin function binds free hemoglobin, preventing iron loss and potential kidney damage from hemoglobinuria. 2. Haptoglobin production, produced by the liver and circulates in the blood. 3. Connection to hemolytic anemia Low haptoglobin levels in the blood often indicate intravascular hemolytic anemia. 4. Haptoglobin hemoglobin complex. This complex is removed from circulation by the liver, aiding in the prevention of hemoglobinuria. 5. Other test correlation. Elevated levels of lactate dehydrogenase, LDH, along with low haptoglobin may suggest hemolytic anemia. 6. Misleading factors. Haptoglobin levels can be elevated or suppressed in conditions such as liver disease or inflammation. 7. Cirrhosis effect. Haptoglobin can be suppressed in patients with cirrhosis, who are not hemolyzing. 8. Haptoglobin testing, used as a diagnostic and monitoring tool for hemolytic anemia. 9. Types of hemolytic anemia, intravascular and extravascular, with haptoglobin typically indicating intravascular type. 10. Importance in kidney health. By binding free hemoglobin, haptoglobin prevents potential kidney damage. 11. Relationship with iron metabolism. It helps in preventing the loss of iron, maintaining the body's iron balance. 12. Clinical context. The interpretation of haptoglobin levels must be made in the context of the patient's overall clinical picture, including additional lab findings and symptoms. For more information, Further details can be found in reputable medical textbooks, clinical guidelines, online medical databases such as PubMed, and websites of relevant health organizations.